Okay, I woke up today and uh, I just felt uninspired. As a musician, as an artist, you need that inspiration, right? So whether uh, it's things that you like, things that you want, anything that motivates you to move forward. In today's episode, we're just going to be getting inspired. You guys want to get inspired, right? And like this, again, is motivation in itself. It so is. as we... I recently discovered this guy on YouTube. This guy named Nuno Brazido. Sounds, I don't know if he's South African or not. I'm Nuno Brazido. He's a real estate agent, I'm assuming. And he reviews like these crazy houses in South Africa. This one and this video costs... 108 million rands. So let's see if this house inspires us to work harder. Let's get to it. Let's meet Nuno Brazido. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nuno Brazido and I welcome you to the one. It is everything. It is architecture. He's a professional practitioner. Practitioner, professional practitioner of what? It is everything. Let's just assume he's a professional like a real estate agent. The design team and architects didn't make a single mistake in creating the perfect home. I if you look carefully, you have a Lamborghini there. That's an Austin Martin, Mercedes Benz, probably GLE or something like that. And a Peugeot. Is, isn't that a Peugeot? A Porsche. Porsche or whatever. However you pronounce it. That one doesn't belong. But so far, the house looks nice. It has tiles up there, one camera. If this was my house, I would put fucking thousands of cameras there. I can't wait to go inside with you so that we can fall in love together. Without further ado, let's go take a look inside. Hold on. So it doesn't have a gate. Why wouldn't you put a gate? It is, isn't it small though? It looks kind of small for, for the price. I would expect something bigger for 108 million rands. I think that's all I'll be doing this video. Just complaining. Ah, color of the tiles, it should be gold. And the house, it is impressive because it's 2,000 squares under roof. So it really is something special. This is your main entrance. You have art on either side. One thing about the home and one thing about art is that it either works for you or it doesn't. You have your spiral staircase. So that is art in itself. To get this curved glass, most homes you'll notice straight. But to find it curved, it is difficult. With most homes, you'll notice... The glass on the stairs is straight. <laughs> Most homes don't have stairs. Bruh, come on now. If, if your house has stairs and has whatever straight glass on the sides of the stairs, you're living in luxury. To your right, you do have your, uh, your, your office and study space. Going right through, you have your entertainment area all pretty much opening to your outside area. But before we get there, I want... Hold on, hold on. What is that? That right there. That's what 108 million rands gets you. A statue of a lady diving backwards <laughs> into your outside pool there. Another thing I'm noticing is a lot of glass, a lot of glass. This whole house is see-through. Looks like if you're a neighbor, you can wave to your other neighbor from, <laughs> from one side. I want to show you the heart of the home, what makes every man's t stomach tick. Hold on. Feeling inspired right now. I show I you just saw the heart pictures. of the home. Not sure if we're allowed to show this. Or... What pictures of a black woman. Isn't that inspiring? Every man. I'm guessing that's the owner. T stomach tick and what gets wives um, excited and creative. While we are here is this incredible state-of-the-art kitchen. Uh, you have two center islands. And if you think that's all for the kitchen, you are wrong. Because behind me, we have your chef's kitchen, which you'll see it automatically opens up. And this is where the mess. Why do they always do that? <clears throat> At these 
big houses they would have a main kitchen and then they would also have a chef's kitchen is it can't can the chef just cook in the other kitchen like why literally it's like on the other door it's like they don't want to see the chef when he cooks so specs on the home you have seven bedrooms 14 bathrooms 2000 squares of interior seven bedrooms and 14 bathrooms what why shouldn't seven bedrooms equate to seven bathrooms why do you have more bathrooms than bedrooms the design team didn't make a single mistake as i mentioned and it's on the market for 108 million rand guys yes 108 million rand but you're getting the best of the best let's go why are they selling it i am <laughs> i'm just a skeptic at this point let's let's just look at the house and admire it continue with our tour <clears throat> this is all imported as we go through the house you're going to notice your versace towel throughout the house he's really trying to sell it i wonder how much money he will make off this look look at how ugly that other house look it looks awful i think it's still being built or something the, the amount of pressure they would put on their neighbors with this one like that house has to be made of glass it has to have a lot of glass to keep up with this one one thing about the space and if you if you actually look down Huge um we TV. actually have glass that you, you look straight into your your poker and entertainment area but we'll get to that space in a bit which is really really cool i mentioned your versace tile you're starting to notice your versace tile guys apparently versace makes tiles now 12 and a half years this is the first time i'm seeing a home with versace tile so as we come to this landing, you have a his bar, emphasis on your high ceilings. You also have your pool room, which is really, really cool. And this all flows into your indoor swimming pool area. They have two pools. Every the other one is right there, like right there. Why do you have pools so close? Another statue of someone diving backwards into, into the pool. I wonder how much that cost. I just mentioned that we have a his bar. What about her bar? So what's good for one is good for the other. And I'm all about fairness. But as I stand here and as I picture life in this home. Why is the TV backwards? And what's happening there? <laughs> I wish I could be on like a live call with this guy. So I could ask all these questions. So what's going on there? Damn, there's so many wines. There's, these are champagnes, definitely. There's more things there. These chairs look uncomfortable because I think they are welded onto the table. So do they move? What's going on here? The TV is backwards. So as we sort of come through this space, which we're not going to go over, look, we have two guest toilets and a kitchen area. So yeah, it's very convenient. I don't think that's why you put a kitchen, bro. But look, we have two guest toilets. You can't put a kitchen right next to two toilets so yeah it's very convenient everything's been well thought out but how no, impressive well is this out. floor to ceiling glass steel structures so as we go through you can obviously see you've got your indoor swimming pool they don't really use it hence why they drained it straight into the gym room but what's impressive about this gym room is that you wake up in the morning you do your weights run on the treadmill that's not that's not how you do weights <laughs> And then from there, you hop into your sauna. So your sauna is around the corner. It looks like a very dark and very lonely sauna. It looks very shady. I think they chipped out on this one. The sauna has to be the cheapest thing in this house. The fucking wine glasses cost more than the sauna. What's even more impressive is this experience shower that costs 1.4 million rand. So as you step inside, and guys, I want to say that again. Four million rand. What's so special about that shower? That shower better have like shower gel on it. You don't need to buy your own shower gel or soap or anything. Better have its own shampoo. You need to just walk in there and stand. <laughs> and then come out clean in less than a minute. Okay, so, yes. The gym is a bit small though. I'm kind of disappointed. This is your own private spa, hair salon. And then as you turn around, you have an outdoor shower. CJ, do you want me to switch this on while you film? Yeah. Just say yes and I'll yeah. do it. Just kidding. Let's hop on back inside. Okay, so you have your... 
What is that interaction? Just say yes and I'll do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's hop. He didn't give he didn't give CJ enough time to respond. Hey CJ, would you like me to? Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's get back inside. Top on back inside. Okay, so you have your own spa. You have a guest a bedroom and bathroom through this. He's got to have a look. I'm assuming that's where the TV would come out, like a pop-up TV. Floating toilet seat. Let's go outside. Your balustrading, obviously keeping the kids out of the pool area, so you've got that safety, all frameless. It's that safety, all frameless, cheap straight glass, isn't that what he said? Around TJ, take note of the architecture. This is stunning, the art. You have all these little uh, men sort of jumping off the building so as it fits. I was men. Maybe that's a man and that's, that's definitely a woman. I see boobs there. It's like a, a Kappa logo. Diving into the swimming pool. You have a baby swimming pool. You have your resort type swimming pool. I want to point to your cinema area because you have an outdoor cinema area. The green grass is, is very nice. And the accents with this palm trees and everything. And these, whatever they are. You have another kids jungle gym down at the bottom next to your full blown entertainment area. You have your putting area. So those who love golf, you want your kid to be the next Tiger Woods guys by the house. So the perfect place according to them to put a miniature golf course is right in front of glass windows. The design team and architects didn't make a single mistake. So let's dive back onto the inside. I'll see you on the inside in three, two, one. You have your gorgeous pendants coming down. This is almost getting ready for your movie. But before we step inside to your cinema room, this is your bar, poker room. I did mention your skylights, which just welcome the light into the space. Guys, this is... Not a lot of light is welcomed into that space, but that is a lot of wine. If that was my house, I wouldn't be sober ever. Taking it all in, like knowing that it, it, it's possible. This gives me that motivation and inspiration to do what I do and try. That's what we want, right? That's what we're looking for. That motivation that we know. It's possible. It's possible in South Africa. Hey, but the price. <laughs> but that price, yes, yes. Come on now. <laughs> Can you put on a sale, Nyana? Extra savings card, swipe, save. <laughs> save 80%. Let's go have a look at the cinema room. Stargazing. Okay. It's nice and dark. And that's it. You'll pray, fall asleep a few times. You're going to want to see this main bedroom, guys. It is something from outer space. So before we go, there we have an outside roof deck entertainment area. Enjoy your sundown as well, looking at that view. We are so elevated. Oh yes, the place is still being constructed. It's being built. It doesn't seem like a fully built neighborhood yet. Let's go look at the primary bedroom. It is going to blow your mind. And now, this is where it gets interesting. Your main bedroom, it is fit for king. And again, just that Versace trim, gold trim tile, my word. This is all. It doesn't look that good. I'm kind of disappointed. All imported, custom made. So I just want to take you into his quickly. Now, let me show you hers. So it is special. You, it, everything's custom designed. So it's basically like your clothes. own mini boutique store. What are you into? Are you into Versace, Louis Vuitton, Philip Plain? This is it. And just again, these, these pendants. It looks like jellyfish. This is out of the world. It's, it's double volume jewelry, ceilings. Lots of natural light that floods the space. And like this again is motivation in itself. It so is. as we... We go straight into your main ensuite. His, his was lame. 
marble finishes, gorgeous tiles throughout. You have his and her toilet. His toilet is just a hole, probably, based on the pattern we are seeing here. And here is it's the floating one that's in the air. Uh, which, please have a look. Um, I want all my subscribers, viewers, to have a look at it. Like I said. You have a massive walk-in shower. Again, this opens up. It's a complete different experience. It's a lifestyle. That is a nice shower, but the privacy, there's like no privacy. And then you have your freestanding bath with views of your surrounds. It and is, your surrounds having views of you. Is special. So I'm gonna take you through the rest of the bedrooms. Now, this one looks nice. What? The main bedroom looked horrible. And that's the kids' bedroom. That's the fucking kids' bath. What the fuck? <laughs> A black family owns this house. I mean, they're selling it, but the fact that they could afford it in the first place isn't that motivation. Your own basketball court. Every time I come back to this home, the spaces, the energy. How many times do you come back to this home? Nuno, Nuno Presido. Stop coming need... back to people's homes. So if you know of anyone that has 108 million rand, let's make them fall in love today the way you have fallen in love. So call me. I'll see you soon. Cheers. I don't like how he said, if you know someone who has 108 million rand. How do you know that I don't have 108 million rand? No, no, Presido. If that's even your real name. <laughs> What if I do? What if what if I do have 108 million rand? Damn it. Am I motivated? Yes. Yes I am. Would I buy the house? Probably not. I'd give this house a 7 out of 10. My main complaints would be My main complaints is if I can afford it. It is a bit small, isn't it? I wish it was a bit bigger. Right now it seems like a lot of things are just packed together it's out here out there everywhere you look there's something going on there should have been a bit more space so it's out there and out there not everything so that's my complaint that's why uh i will be saving my 108 million rands for a different house that's dope as fuck though i think that was great motivation so now i have to get back to work make more music make more money make money not more because i haven't even started but yeah let's get to it guys keep working keep pushing g1 peace